welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and basically we will talk a little bit about the uh, Windows 10 version 2004 that is still rolling out. So we have seen in the numbers that this uh, the May 2020 update is now um, really progressing at a faster speed. It's almost a quarter of all Windows 10 users that have it now. And this actually is uh, showing us that the rollout is actually going very well. There's a lot of little glitches and a lot of problems that were discovered at the initial release. There were a lot of things that were added in the known issues list. And then there were blockers, uh, which is not necessarily because there was a problem, but because there, there was something just uh, not compatible or not yet compatible with machines. But as we see that this uh, market uh, share has actually more than doubled since last month, it's obvious that the blockers removed have really greatly improved the rollout of the May 2020 update. One of the things also that we uh, look at and that I will look at when you go to, um, so, you know, I always say that, you know, don't force it, go to your Windows updates and uh, make sure that you check uh, if it's available here, because this is where you want the May 2020 update to appear. The um, rollout from here is, of course, the one that normally should work the best, um, even though, you know, there is a small percentage of people that might have uh, install problems in general. It's rolling out well. And it's the background noise that I always call, which is the number of people complaining about something not right um, as an increased. Uh, when we look at the fact that it doubled in its... Uh, market share there's not double the complaints and it's pretty much stays the same level which means uh, you know a small percentage are having issues but in general most people are actually having this and it's installing very well I get of course the people that complain are the ones that have problems most of the time so we got to be careful once again when we look at um, you know complaints and how a Windows install is or not. Once again, I want to mention, because a lot of people don't understand that if you, um, you know, because they talk about the bugs and say, well, I'm waiting for the bugs to be fixed. Um, if you have a bug, a blocking bug, you're not seeing the update. So if you see it, you are safe to install it um, because it, it means your machine does not have any issues with the May 2020 update. It's funny how people uh, think that, well, you know, if I install it, all the problems that, well, if you had one of the problems that were listed, you would not see it in Windows updates. That's the thing. Once again, it's, you know, a question of not forcing it. Some of you have forced it, and a lot of you actually have uh, forced, ups, upgraded with the media creation tool and all of that, and have had no problems at all. Um, a lot of people still talking about the uh, SSD uh, defrag thing. Um, one thing for sure is that if you only, you know, start your PC once a day, um, it's far from being a problem in itself because it takes so many writes and reads or mostly writes uh, of, of the different memory cells to actually uh, break an SSD that, you know, it could stay like this for a year and you would not see any damage to the SSD. All the people saying, well, you know, it killed my SSD and now I have to buy a new one. No, your SSD was already dying as this is not enough to kill it not the way that the problem is. It doesn't happen on other uh, versions of um, builds and the insider builds, it seems. So I would guess this is something that's probably fixed. Once again, it's it, that that um, defrag every time you load Windows is the fact that it seems to not record the last time that it actually did something. So it thinks that it never did it and it does it again. And, you know, Remember one thing, if you, uh, in a defrag, um, the state of the defrag is very small when the uh, defrag is done all the time. So it, uh, you know, it's, it's untrue that it will break your SSD in the next months. Uh, that is um, 
kind of more of a fake news and and people that just hate Windows 10 that are you know uh, sending out that information. That said, Microsoft will need to address this. It's still not uh, something that has been tweaked or fixed. It seems um, it's interesting because I wonder if there's a difference between those that have because it's not everybody that has that problem. A lot of people don't. And um, I'm I was wondering one of the things that that made me think about it is is could this bug be in those that have updated from Windows Update only or uh, from the media creation tool forced upgraded only or I don't know it's it seems weird because like I said it's not everybody that has that for the rest uh, the um, upgrade is continuing at a faster pace now it's obvious so that means that we're gonna we're going to reach um, soon the 1903 version will be pushed to the version, the May 2020 update, that's for sure, because um, 1903 is going to uh, be at end of support in December with the last patch Tuesday of December. So uh, that means you also will start being pushed to the May 2020 update uh, in the coming weeks, that's for sure. So we'll see numbers next month, but I expect this to... Uh, to maybe be uh, by next month, I wouldn't be surprised that this will be the dominant uh, Windows version now on PCs. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.